This morning it's all about grains, legumes, fruits, and veggies. Our theme is plant-based cooking, and who better to show us than vegan queen and owner of Blossom <laughs> Restaurants, Pamela Elizabeth. Welcome. Thank you so much. So, Thank you so much. So I know you're tired of this question probably, but plant-based. Explain what vegan cooking is. Well, basically, vegan means that we're not using any animal products whatsoever. So no meat, no dairy, no eggs. Everything is uh, plant-based, mm -hmm. and it's a very simple concept, right? Um, so what we've brought here today are an array of dishes from the various restaurants. Yeah, I, I just want to run through them because when I heard that you're going to have chickpea hush puppies, yes. I said I love hush puppies. <laughs> yes. So I'll actually chase these little guys. <laughs> and you They're have amazing. all sorts of different things. You have lasagna. Yes. Lasagna. You have chocolate, chocolate. cake. Yes. Yes. So. Yes. And our lasagna is made with uh, seitan, which is a wheat protein, mm -hmm. and um, some. Roasted eggplant, absolutely delicious, and our chocolate cake. No eggs, no milk, mm. no cream, but you wouldn't know it. You know, right. you really, and that's really the thing. Not. People sometimes, you, I know you hear that, oh, it tastes, doesn't taste good, but you're saying that you can make it taste good. It, it, there's no way it doesn't taste good. Okay. Let's, it tastes amazing. <laughs> Let's you wouldn't know the difference. I'm going to try the chocolate food. cake in a second, but you're Please. cooking up some French toast. We're making vegan French toast okay. today, and our base is um, uh, all purpose flour, and you can use any flour you want gluten free flour, whole wheat flour, then a plant based milk. We've got organic soy milk here. With us today, but you okay. can use. Um, yeah, please Should go ahead and put that right in. Um, and how much flour is this? That's a cup and a half of flour, mm -hmm. two cups of plant based milk. It could be almond milk, it can be cashew milk, whatever you choose. Then we've got. Um, we're just going to take a pinch of that. That's a pinch of nutmeg we oh, want to okay. add. Pinch of I just nutmeg. love that. It just mm -hmm. grounds the food and brings out an earthy flavor. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to toss in our cinnamon. Cinnamon. And a little bit of vanilla. Just a pinch of salt. And You're then so we've got this, our <laughs> maple syrup. Ooh, and how much of this? Yes. Well, not too much. <laughs> okay. Just half a cup. Just there half we a go. Cup. No, we'll put it all in. Oh, put it all in. Okay. Okay. Half okay. a cup of maple and syrup. And then we want to whip it up and become nice and thick, just mm -hmm. a wonderful batter. And then it's this is very simple. We just put our bread right in. Mm -hmm. This is so, so great for kids if you have little right. ones. They love just dunking the bread in. And then it goes straight into our pan. And of course we're using a vegan butter. Ah. Right? So this is a coconut based mm -hmm. um, butter. Okay. But uh, again, just that rich buttery flavor. You will not notice the difference. So yeah, we can bring that right over. And um, we want to just really give oh, it Oh really, really? Yeah. Okay, I didn't do it hard enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And what, yes. are the, what are the health benefits? Okay, that's good. Yeah, that's really, really okay. good. Well, one health benefit is that there's no cholesterol in mm. any of this. So I always talk to people about that. Yeah, oh, okay. free to just the whole thing, dunk the whole thing. The whole thing. thing. We okay. want to coat both sides. And it's a little messy, but we'll carry it right over okay. to the pan. And how and long do you cook on yeah. each side? Well, we want to cook for about two minutes on each side. Okay. Um, and have it on a nice... Uh, on a nice temperature, okay. you know, it doesn't take that long. And um, you can see we have our finished product right Let here. Let me try some. Dusted it with a little bit of um, powdered sugar and a little more nice. maple syrup. A little bit more maple syrup. Just a little bit <laughs> on top. <laughs> Can, Can I, I take a bite? Do you mind? As I do Please. that, sorry, Cindy. Go yeah, ahead. no, no, no. Go Please. for it. And you know what? As you do that, why don't we bring in Vanessa? Because we're talking about the weather, and this is the last day of winter, which is a nice time for yes. for, for, for French toast. I you know. would never know the difference. Oh, what? that's you good. Wait a minute you now. It is delicious. You want me to give the forecast? <laughs> <laughs> No, I'll get the forecast. I can do that while I just dig in. Okay. Uh, let's take a look, shall we, quickly at the forecast. Today, we're going to have increasing sunshine, 43 degrees, but it will be breezy with winds out of the north, so it is going to feel like the 30s. That's an important thing to note because you'll still need the winter gear. Tomorrow, we start to warm up. First day of spring, 49, mostly sunny. Tuesday, even warmer, 52, with clearing skies. But then Wednesday, Thursday, you see those numbers. Diving down back into the 30s. So, yeah, big time swings for that first week of spring, but I love spring. I love mm -hmm. spring. And we're going to start to see so the much. snow melting a little bit <laughs> yes. more, but this is perfect yes. for today. Yes, yes it is. And I have a quick question for you. Will. Will you yes. have all these good, and you also have chocolate over here. Yes, and the yes. yes that, the chocolates are available at a new shop I opened, Coco V. Mm -hmm. Again, mm -hmm. everything vegan, no dairy. Okay. Our double chocolate cookies, no dairy, no eggs. All right, quick question for people who, you know, maybe want to dabble in it and not go full force. Mm -hmm. What would you say a good place is to start trying it out? I think, um, you mean at home, personally? Yeah, or, just, you know, just, st start with one dish. Yes, just it, it, take your favorite recipe mm -hmm. and try swapping out um, uh, ingredients 
for example, uh, plant-based milk for milk. Right. You know, right. there's so many things that you could use for as an egg replacer. Mm -hmm. You know, um, applesauce, believe it or not. Oh, oh interesting. interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Thank yeah. Thank well, you. thank you so much for being here and bringing your delicious. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you so much. And we're back tonight at 11 o'clock. Bye-bye. <laughs>